All right, we are live. This is a debate between myself and I want to say a gentleman named Mega uh, Mega Gamer Me Mega Man Mega Man X. Mega Master X. Mega Master Mega Master <laughs> X. Sorry. Um, there's I have about three or four people who are major Mega Man fans that have some form of Mega in their name, so it's kind of difficult to keep up with everybody. But um, yeah, I'm joined by. Um, a gentleman who has a view averse from my own about the delays of Mighty Number no. Nine. Um, so, without further ado, you know it's me, Mr. Red Fox. So I'm pretty sure I don't need to introduce myself on my own channel. Um, I mean, right. you know, so, yeah. uh, you can uh, introduce yourself. Get, uh, you. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah. So uh, my name is Mega Master X. I've been a fan of Mega Man since about Mega Man 4 on the NES. Um, mm -hmm. I am a tournament organizer and very prominent member of the Battle Network community. Um, mm -hmm. I have hosted multiple tournaments that uh, that have spread pretty far and wide, which is pretty cool, I guess. Um, I'm also a game developer. I'm Quirkus Games LLC. I'm also a participant in the Ludum Dare game development competitions that occur pretty regularly. You can find more information about that at ludumdare.com. Uh, L u d u m d a r e dot com, of course. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Let's let's talk to Mighty Number Nine. What do you what do you think about uh, Mighty Number Nine and the delays, Mister uh, Red Fox? Um. Well, I think the issue is multifaceted, okay. and has I think it, it's multifaceted. There's a lot of um, there, there's a lot of problems with which is uh, why I feel the game has been delayed, but I think it primarily boils down to um, KG Inafune and Concept. Basically, um, they got more money than they originally anticipated for their thing, because I think originally they wanted 800000 and they got, what, 3.2? 400000 yeah. What four hundred? It was like four hundred thousand. In order for them to reach all their stretch goals, it was eight hundred thousand, and they got well above that and went to three point two, if I remember correctly. And um, that was, I mean, that was a wonderful thing. The problem is that, essentially speaking, I think this was a case of, um, you know, Concept is a small studio, and they just did not have the resources to to do everything they wanted to do. Mm -hmm. With that being said, with that being said, I also, and this is just my own personal belief, because, um, well, there's certain, there's certain, the way that um, certain things have been done otherwise with that, uh, with that company, uh, some of their other projects that have not, uh, that have gone unfulfilled, it, it, it seems a little strange to me, so... I think they may have used some of those funds on other projects, which, I mean, isn't exactly illegal, but kind of unethical in those regards, but whatever. Um, I, I think that, uh, essentially speaking, I think that this game has been delayed in some way, shape, or form four times now, and... Uh, it's been delayed... Uh, four times now in some way, shape, or form. Because if I, if I remember correctly, it was originally supposed to drop in September of last year. Like the game itself, not a demo, the game. And they were like, oh, well, okay, no, no, we're going to have to delay it for a little bit. So then they said, well, um, we'll have to do it sometime in December. And then they, they changed that about a week and a half later. And they were like, okay, we can give you a demo in December. But I don't even think people have gotten the demo for that game yet. Um, I know a few people that uh, ha ki uh, kickstarted it, and I haven't asked them, but I don't. I don't think they've gotten it because they would be they would be going through my feed saying, "Yeah, I got the demo now." Yeah. Um, so, and then they said, "Okay, well, this time this is the third time. Okay, you guys, we'll have the game definitely in February," and then it's been delayed again. So that's by my count, that's delayed in some way, shape, or form four times. Um, now they say that the reason all this is happening is because of netcode, which that could be the case. That 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 could be the case. But I mean, 
this game was built on the premise of being a Mega Man game. Is that correct? No, that is not correct at all. No, Actually, it was built, it was it was it was it was built it was it was billed as being as a game made by the successor of uh, by it was supposed to be the spiritual successor to Mega Man. Is that correct? No. So this they is, didn't have all of these. They weren't when they were kickstarting it. That wasn't what they were intimating when they were kickstarting it. I mean, that may have been the sales pitch that people construed out of it, but in actuality, this was pitched as a brand new action game. It was Mega Man actually wasn't mentioned whatsoever, except by saying there were former developers from Mega Man on the staff. There was actually no mention of Mega Man in the Kickstarter campaign so, whatsoever. So even so though the community's was only was intimating that this was a spiritual successor to Mega Man. That's what the community says, but that's not what Comstock that's himself also, said. That's yes, it is. Can you show I me can, where? I can go. I can go get the link right now. They themselves said that this was going to be a spiritual successor to the Mega Man franchise, just like Red Ash was supposed to be a spiritual successor to the Mega Man Legends franchise. They both they, for both of these Kickstarters, they said that. All right, let me take a peek here. I mean, if I am incorrect in this, then I will mo I'll be more than happy to give you that. But actually, uh, I'm, I'm looking at the Mighty Number no. 9 uh, Kickstarter, and it says, Classic Japanese scrolling action evolved, transformed by Keiji Inafune, an all-star team of veteran Mega Man developers, and you. There's no mention in the initial sales pitch of Mega Man whatsoever here. Really? In fact, let me search the page for Mega Man here, uh, that is, uh, that has to do with the developer, is this game affiliated with Capcom or Mega Man? Yeah, there's no mention of Mega Man in this Kickstarter campaign whatsoever. You can take a look really? at yourself. In fact, that's, I'll actually that's, give you the that's quite to odd, because I remember specifically when this game was being released, that there were various interviews and that type of thing where KG and Funes was asked, you know, is this going to be a Mega Man successor? He said, "Well, you know, um, it, it's gonna it's gonna fulfill that niche or something of that nature, yeah. since you know, blah 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 blah. If but not, you said explicit, specifically that this no, is going I said to be it specifically acid. said it was intimated, which basically is like saying, like if I if I give you fifty thousand dollars and you have a Kickstarter, and I give you fifty thousand dollars, it's not a legally binding contract." But if you're saying I can make uh, an indie game for fifty thousand dollars, and you meet your stretch goals, and they they give you the money, it's intimated that you're going to give them that game. Okay, but you're you're going off on a completely different tangent here. What you said previously at first is that this game was billed as a spiritual that's what successor they to the game, which they would imply said, that you stated on the Kickstarter campaign that someone coming into this with no prior knowledge. No view of any kind of interviews by any other developers, be it KG Inafune Sun or anyone else, would Pardon look me. at this Kickstarter Pardon campaign me. and say, This is Mega Man, because it isn't. You you may have misspoken there, and I'll give you that one, but uh, let's go ahead and, and move forward uh, rapidly. Do you have any other opinions on the campaign as a whole? Well, I feel that it was um, no, I look, I. I was I you know I myself am a huge Mega Man fan. Um, I was a fan of it back in the old good old days when they when it had the horrible cover art on the NES <laughs> that had like it it had nothing to do with the actual gameplay. But hey, we didn't we didn't care. We didn't know. We were little kids. Right. Um, you know, um, I, I too was there at the beginning. I enjoyed it, but I feel that um, I feel that. The kicks, like I, like I said, I was one of those people very excited. The Kickstarter met its stretch goals. Um, I thought it was, you know, a little odd some of the things that were going on. Uh, but I'm not. Gonna, this isn't about that because they, they aren't pertinent to the to the to the uh, situation at hand. But ultimately, I think that um, I think that the delays have just shown that either concept is too small to uh, adequately meet its goals. And if this was the only project that they had done that had basically been delayed um, multiple times and um, had development issues, I wouldn't say anything. But, well, it's not. Hmm. Okay. Does that, um, does that wrap up your, your kind of viewpoints there? Well, I would conclude with uh, just basically this game 
Um, whether or not it's good or not, I, I'm, I'm not going to debate the quality because I haven't, I haven't, you know, no one's really played it or anything. Um, I would say that the smart thing for Inafune to, to do um, would be to release the single player portion of the game. Um, that's, that's a fair assertion. And release the, release the single portion of the game because to be fair, I mean, you know, like, they could they could have they could have released a single portion of the game on whatever uh, platforms it's going to be on, and then after the fact, like as they like maybe do a small like beta of like maybe like five percent of each of the install bases, and then once they worked out the kinks there, then uh, give the 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 multiplayer as like free to the people. That that would have been awesome. Um, but this this continuous delay um, has kind of you know, to conclude, has hurt KG Inafune, uh, KG Inafune's reputation, in my opinion, because, like I said, this isn't the first time he's taken someone's money and delayed a game t too much, in my opinion. That's fair. As someone who backed on the two hundred dollars tier, I can certainly agree. Um, but I'll go ahead and uh, and segue into my viewpoints here with a little bit of information. Uh, first and foremost, I'm actually going to share my screen. Um, I actually had the honor of meeting Mr. KG Inafune himself at Waku Waku NYC in 2015. Mm -hmm. uh, also, Nick Yu, the producer for Concept, was also in attendance at that convention. So I actually was able to talk with Inafune-san pretty extensively, actually. Um, so there are a few things that you need to be informed about um, before I can go forward with this discussion. First and foremost is the nature of Comcept. Comcept is actually a design studio. Their primary purpose is to design video games and concepts. They actually partnered with Inti Creates in order to do the development of the game for my, the, the actual game client for Mighty Number no. 9. So Comcept actually is fully hands off in terms of the actual programming and development of it. However, assets, concept art, some voice acting contracts, all that was managed by Concept specifically. So there is a disconnect there. Um, and I, I think that's what I wanted to primarily set the record straight with um, uh, off of the gate. So uh, moving forward, <clears throat> with Integrates being a separate entity there, there is, of course, some latency between them contacting or Concept contacting into Creates, and there's a bit of back and forth here. Uh, according to Nikki with Concept, they actually have two offices, one in Osaka and another in Shibuya, I think. I can't remember off the top of my head uh, where the second office is, and that's, that's my fault for not being informed and bringing that to the table. Um, so there is a bit of a dynamic there, but that actually isn't the source of these delays. So I'll actually let you know, uh, Mr. Red Fox, what a little bit of uh, insight onto the development of Mighty Number no. Nine, in that uh, the feature complete copy of Mighty Number no. Nine that sent to developers, or excuse me, sent to the distributor Deep Silver in order to print copies of, in order to send it to Steam and all these other platforms, Xbox Live, uh, has to go through what's called certification. And what certification is is all of these providers, Nintendo, Microsoft, Sony. Uh, they all have very, very stringent guidelines for software that's published on their platform. For example, uh, Microsoft, a part of Microsoft certification for Xbox 360 and Xbox One is that if your game has an autosave feature, it has to have a screen before any other part of the game occurs stating not to turn your console off and this is the autosave indicator. That's a part of certification. And if that fails, then the certification is rejected and sent back to the developer and then that's that's what then they have to go back and spend the resources to fix that particular bug and then resubmit it to certification. All, all, three, all three platforms have this kind of process. It's unavoidable. Um, so with that being said, um, the Gold Master, which is the final version of the game, right, has already been sent out the certification for all, all the platforms, and it has already been accepted by all platforms. Now, I will let you know, just off out of the gate, there are strict non-disclosure agreements that are behind all three of these uh, partners for it. 
I am with two of them, so I'm obviously not going to risk breaking my non-disclosure agreement for the sake of an arbitrary argument. But um, I will actually show you as well a press release by concept explaining in excruciating detail why they can't strip out the multiplayer and just release a single player game. There's actually a pretty good reason behind it. So this states that um, the important factor is the mastering process. It's an ongoing process with all the platform holders and cutting out multiplayer would result in the process returning to square one. That means they have to forego at least eight to 13 weeks of approval and development across all of their platforms that they're releasing on. Now bear in mind, Mighty Number no. 9 is being released on every platform under the sun, 3DS, Vita, Wii U, somehow, I don't know how powerful enough to be released in the Wii U, PS, you know, PS4, Xbox One, That's everything funny, under the sun. It's on the Vita and the it PS3 is. and the Xbox 360. Exactly, it's on every single platform. So as you can imagine, they have to go through certification for every single one of these platforms. It's a very long and strenuous process. Um, so they, they even state that they did consider taking the approach, but in, actual stri in actually stripping out the multiplayer for Mighty Number no. 9 would result of an even further delay of the game and risk this game being completely broken on launch, which, as we've seen from multiple Assassin's Creed games, not the best of ideas, especially with... Uh, a lot of backers behind them. So that's the explanation into why why this delay is happening in the first place. And I hope that it was a little uh, informational for you um, because this isn't just saying, oh shit, we need more time because we blew all our money on Coke and hookers. You know, I don't know if um, it's age appropriate or anything like well, that. But yeah, I, I, I understand where you're going uh, with that particular uh, mm -hmm. statement, but I mean, I still, I mean, the thing is, is this, uh, I, I understand that. Um, for me personally, I, I, even with a well-written uh, e explanation or excuse, depending on how you want to look at it, this isn't the first time this has happened with them. Um, you know, uh, KO, King of the Pirates, something like that. Um, that game, what was that, four years ago? Yes, four years ago. The 3DS had just launched, and it was supposed to be on the 3DS and the Wii. And that game had a budget of, let me look this up real quick, because it, uh, let's see here. It, uh, let's see, Kill King of the Pirates. Uh... King of the Pirates, let's see here. Let's see, KO King of the Pirates, let's see. Yes, KO King of the Pirates was supposed to be on two consoles uh, initially, and then uh, the Wii was dropped for the 3DS. And it had a budget of, what, 461 million yen? Which is like three point eight four million dollars, mm -hmm. and that was that was one console, and that had, oh, Jesus, uh, let's see, a three. Uh, well, I'm not even going to say a development cycle. There was four. There was three years of hang on, we might do something, and um, basically during that time, however, we got from uh, KG and Afune and Concept. Ooh, uh, a game on the PSP done in conjunction with Idea Factory, a game on the Vita done in conjunction with Marvelous and uh, Sony uh, Japan, um, a game co-developed with Level 5 um, on the 3DS that was actually pretty fairly decent, um, Yaiba, Ninja Gaiden, uh, Gaiden yep. Z, Soul Sacrifice, Delta. Um, I mean, basically what I'm saying is this. Um, the projects that they do in conjunction with someone else uh, turn out pretty well. Um, the projects that they do with other people depend. It's kind of like I mean that they do where they're the primary onus on it. Seems like it's like a fifty-fifty shot that it's going to work out. So, I mean, like I just at this point in time, uh, you know, it's nice that you got to meet the man that you. Um, have a lot of respect for, but 
as far as I go as a consumer, I don't trust him. <laughs> that's, I, I mean, that's I don't understandable. Trust but I, I, I think you, know. you don't see exactly how much money and resource goes into this. So let me, let me take another stab at it. Um, let me see here. Just a moment. So I'm going to kind of die because I, I, I'm a visual learner. I like describing things visually. That's what I do. Are you able to? Uh, no, I was, I'm a composite learner. I learn through a variety of ways. That's, no way is 100% uh, effective for me. So I'm going to go ahead and actually just draw out what goes into development of a game. So say, mm -hmm. for instance, I've got a crew of about 500 developers. Mm -hmm. That's going to be NT Creates. NT Creates is responsible for, I mean, they, they do a lot of stuff. They are a jack of all trades. They, they, really, they really stick it to it, right? So all of these developers, it costs NT Creates about, mm, on average, and this is a very rough, uh, a, a rough estimation, it costs them about 20 grand per head count here, all right? They send their number off to Comcept, And then Comcept says, all right, we will pay you X amount of dollars to develop for every platform under the sun, right? And you brought up some game. It slips my mind. I have really bad short-term memory. So you, you brought up one game that's released on two platforms, right? Mm-hmm. Well, one was dropped. This is, this, I mean, still. This is being released on Vita, 3DS, PS3, PS4, Xbox One, Xbox 360, uh, Wii U. PC, and there's also a Mac port in there too. Sir. And Linux. Yep, yeah, sir. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying that I'm, it's not a, uh, I'm, a I'm large not, I'm project. Not I'm, not I'm not saying. Not no, I agree with your. I agree with your assertion. It's not. A, it's. It's a very large project. I'm not. I never said it was. Um, I agree that you know there's there's a lot of uh, red tape involved and certifications and all that type of stuff, but. I'm once again going to fall on the simple thing that, um, you know, uh, as anyone can tell you, in, in business, you have your reputation. If you're constantly missing deadlines, um, if your projects are constantly over budget, um, <laughs> your reputation goes down the toilet. Now, I mean, like I said, reputation is everything in business. and. I You're mean, the wrong. reputation has kind of gotten flushed, in my opinion, a little bit. Now, look, so, I know here, where people here. are going with it. I just disagree with that assertion. And that is completely on you to do so. But what I'm trying to say, and really my point across the board, is that every single person in the community has a opinion. And then there are prominent people like YouTubers, much like yourself, who have a single opinion, and then everyone latches onto it. Right, so this post on the Mighty Number no. Nine Kickstarter page in the comments mm -hmm. section, albeit, was completely drowned out by absolutely everyone just lambasting this entire project. Oh, it's bullshit! I spent X amount of money. There's a woman as a community manager. Blah blah blah. To tell you There's, the truth, I don't even care about that type of stuff. I really. I don't. <laughs> I mean, but what I'm saying is, is that you know, your concept has gone way out of their way to say, uh, we we are sorry, we screwed up. This is why, up. yeah. This is <laughs> why there is a delay, but no one is listening to it. All they see is that there is a delay, and this is bullshit, and that's the end of the story. Well, which is what I'm seeing. Which is what when I mean, I went back and watched your uh, your recent podcast i guess or whatever your recent discussion and that's really all i heard it was like yeah this game blows because there's a delay i don't it's bullshit well, you know we paid all this money i never said, I never said that the game out? i never said that the game would be terrible because it was delayed i said that my trust in concept in kg and afune is shot and i'm not buying it the game could be great the game could be the best thing since sliced bread the game could truly be something that 
you play it and you're like, wow, this feels like Mega Man X, only a completely new uh, revitalized experience, um, you know, with, you know, it, it's changed the way I feel about these style of games. But that's aside from the point. Um, it, it's kind of like if you go to your favorite restaurant, but every time you go there, you have to spend an hour in the bathroom afterwards because it makes you sick. At a certain point, you say, I'm not going to eat there anymore. <laughs> and, and I mean, you know, like I understand, I understand that, you know, not everyone's going to agree with me. And if you don't want to, if people don't have to agree with me, they can like, this is a, I have a YouTube channel, like normal TV. You don't like what I say, change the channel. No one is forcefully grabbing someone and holding them and saying, you have to watch my videos. Now, um, as, I, as I've said before, um, you know, like nothing that nothing that concept has done to me has really um, en engendered a, a feeling of confidence to me. Now, that's just because I'm rem I'm, I'm skeptical. There's certain things in business that make me very skeptical. Um, taking uh, $3.8 million and having something in development for three years and it gets canceled and then whatever, um, that, that for me, that was like a, a, a red flag for me. I was like, huh, that's, that's kind of strange. Um, the recent article that KG and Afune was questioned, they had it in on multiple things. You can go look it up, but um, where he's like, well, I take on many projects because I'm trying to keep my studio alive. I understand that. But the thing is, is like, I don't think you have the infrastructure to do multiple projects. <laughs> like I, I just do. don't. I mean, they're a design studio. It's really not that hard. But well, continue. I mean, considering the amount of delays and projects that are getting kind of, they don't. So that are outside um, of their control in their entirety because Enti Creates well, is actually doing the software development and QA testing. Hmm. Well, you know, look, man. Hmm. Here's the thing. Um, You're pinning I, the blame on the wrong company, is what no, I'm trying I, to get at, right? Well, I mean, I, 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 I agree. Yeah, Enti Creates. Okay, like, fine. Then. Okay, fine. Then. Okay, Enti fair is. enough. This has been delayed three times. We'll say it's shared blame on Enti Creates and um, Concept. But then Concept is not responsible for this. Well, no, I'm going to say shared blame. I mean, yeah, there, there it's got has his been name on it. Sure. Well, I mean, it's got his name. Okay, it's kind of like this: you own a business, and one of your employees does something weird, or your contractors. I mean, you own the business. It, I mean, at a certain point, it's like even if you didn't personally do it, it, it falls on you. But I mean, why did the other game get delayed or actually canceled? Uh, delay. Well, it was delayed for like three and a half years and then canceled. Hey, wait a minute. I got, did NT have anything I have a to do with that? For you. I have a quick question for you, <laughs> if you don't mind. Yeah. So you mean to tell me that if Halo 5 was delayed, yeah. you would not buy it on principle? Well, I, 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 I wouldn't buy I, I don't like Halo and I don't buy it. Okay, what console. name of games? All right. Insert arbitrary game title that you actually enjoy here. Mm -hmm. If you, if that game were delayed, you expected that you had a pre-order at GameStop, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, ready to rock, and it got delayed. Do you mean to tell me that you would cancel the pre-order on that game that you so cherish just on principle? Yeah. Because that's what you just told me. Yeah, I've done it. Um, anyone remember, uh, do you remember when Rayman Legends uh, release was slated no, to release? because I actually play better platformers than that, but... <laughs> yeah, Rayman, Rayman Legends was supposed to release uh, for the Wii U. It was, like, that game was pretty much made for that system. And it came out, uh, I believe it was supposed to come out, like, February 9th, February 8th. Now, my birthday is February 7th, and, and so I was like, man, that's going to be my birthday present. And the game was, uh, you know, some bullshit Ubisoft reason that it was delayed. And Absolutely. I still haven't bought that game. I'm still Even like, you know great. what? To hell with you. Because the way I feel about it is is, is like this, okay? Um, and this is just my, you know, just how I feel as a consumer. And as a business owner, people have to keep this in mind because I'm also a business owner too. When you, uh, when I spend my money, I work hard for it. Um, and I want to feel that my purchase was warranted and well and, and you know well regarded. Now, if you're gonna play games with my money and treat my purchase like an afterthought or treat me as you know a consumer as a as a second or third rate citizen, then I don't need to buy your product. <laughs> so, I mean, if you're if you're gonna if you're gonna if you're gonna sell me something like, I mean, like here's the thing, okay. Um, if they're having issues with uh, development, 
then when it first started happening, they should have said, okay, we're having issues with development. Um, you know, things are not, we might have to extend the rate in which this goes out because I mean, I mean, and this is, this, this could be, this, this is coming from completely from, from, uh, from a state of extrapolation and critical thinking. I'm not a programmer, but the last time I checked, the amount of resources that go in creating a platformer are not nearly as intensive as what goes into create a, um, a, a third person game or something. Cause the amount of assets are like exponentially multiplied um, with that's uh, an a factor. That's actually a really uninformed opinion. So I, I do respect it because it is an uninformed opinion, but that is not a factor whatsoever. Like, Oh really? It caught, in in were in a world where a budget of a platformer is in the million range, like a small delay of even a month, even a small month, is massive. You could hemorrhage money. Kickstarters have been canceled, and backers were not refunded for less. Well, haven't they already been hemorrhaging money? No. I mean, haven't they already? Haven't there? Well, there's been multiple delays, so that means they're hemorrhaging money, right? No. So the game wasn't delayed in September when it was supposed to originally come out and then delayed again a few months later and now it's been delayed yet again. So those delays weren't costing Concept and NT Creates money. I'm not saying that they aren't costing them money. But, but you I just have said, a when I said you, that those you, delays you consider... cost them money, you said no. So which is Right, it? but you asked if they're hemorrhaging. You asked... Money. Sir, you said that delays cost let's, money, let's and I asked you, sure. then that means they're costing those people money, and you said no. <laughs> you asked if they were hemorrhaging money. I said no. Well, I mean, one delay, that's that's not so bad, but... You asked if they were hemorrhaging money, and I said four. no. There is no need to twist my words, and there is certainly no need to escalate. Okay? I'm just saying, I mean, you know... So I mean, let's go ahead. Delay, let's agree, let's know, agree to disagree on this because I don't really see this I, going. That's perfectly fine. Budget, so you, you said, you said you're a business owner, right? Yes. I don't, I'm not gonna pry. I'm not gonna pry. I respect it. I'm a business owner myself. Mm -hmm. Put yourself in concept shoes. All right. I hope I you don't. Are, but you go are, ahead. You, irrelevant comments aside, you work really hard on a project. You put your heart, soul, personal money, your time everything into this project mm -hmm. and all of a sudden you notice an imperfection yeah you'd be willing to tarnish your name mr red fox llc would you be willing to completely obliterate your own personal image by releasing a broken incomplete product or would you want to go back and make sure that quality stays tied to your name well um i'll, I'll keep it real um as a as a business owner, I try to avoid those types of situations. As any one, business, as any, I'm, I'm, I'm saying I would not want that sure. to happen. But but you know, since this is analogous, I mean, hasn't his reputation already been tainted already? How uh, a project that was three point eight million dollars down the hole, something that never saw the light of day. Mm, I'm talking um, about prior to the first delay. Multiple delays of this game i mean isn't his isn't his name already kind of the red ash fiasco kickstarter i mean that's a different subject we're talking it, about my data no, i'm just saying hasn't his name already been tainted like isn't it like at this point i mean i understand where you're coming from like shigeru miyamoto said uh, uh, a game delayed can become good but a bad game once released is bad right. forever that's mm -hmm. true but at this point, just I mean, look, I know he's fighting for his life, his for his life as a as a as a designer, um, you know, his reputation wise, not not physically, but I mean, as someone who's the head of you know this this creative conglomerate, uh, uh, bringing talents together in order to get certain projects taken care of. I mean, isn't that kind of like I don't want to give this guy money because I mean I don't know if if it's gonna gonna do what it needs to do, um, and I mean like my video said, I think KG and Afude is a businessman, but I'm not saying that as a compliment in this in the case of this uh, this conversation. So on that same vein, and I gotta recollect myself because I lost my train of thought. Damn it. Mm -hmm. <sighs> so, dialing it back a little bit, 
when you kick started this project, right? I didn't. Well, part assume you're a backer. When you kick started this project, if you did, what would you consider your pledge? A pre order or an investment? Oh, I rem no, 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 screw that question. Screw it. I'm, I remember my thought. If that were truly the case, wouldn't this project be canceled? Wouldn't this thing be completely shelled? We are getting a game. Kickstarter backers are getting what they paid for. The timetable you know, is irrelevant. I think at this point, there. I think at this point, it, you know, the the baby, the look. It's it's like being partially pregnant. It's like being pregnant. There's no there's no halfway. You're either pregnant or you're not. Um, they're too far. They've gone too far. Uh, you know, there's too much coding that's been done. They're gonna have to release this game. This um, hasn't stopped any many developers from completely pulling like Ant Simulator recently. This doesn't stop any developers well, from saying, you know what? Fuck it. No one's getting their money back. You're not getting a game. Too well, tough shit. Read the I mean, Let me put it this way. Um, in order to salvage whatever shreds of his reputation he has left, because like it or not, Keiji Onofune is the face of this project, um, He's this game is going to have to come out. I mean, whether it's great or not, I mean, like, here's the thing. The excitement that I had for this game um, has at first it was tempered, and now like I don't feel it anymore. I'm just like, eh, it's. I was the same way I, until I actually I, picked it up and played it. Like KK Infinity's uh, work has always been, he he has been a man. Even like Battle Network is a great example of this. Battle Network almost didn't happen, but ended up being the thing that saved the Mega Man franchise back in the early 2000s when it was released. Man, but I love Battle Kay Network. Some dude, of my Battle favorite Network games. Network is my shit. But um, yeah. mo moving forward, KJ Inafune's reputation has always been on his ability, like the quality of his product. Like, have you ever seen a game? That's a bad question. There's only KG one. Inafune, it's called Mega Man Soccer. The, That's the only bad Mega Man game I've ever played where I was like, who who designed this garbage? Who, did, who greenlit who, this? Who, yeah, who signed off on Mega Man Soccer? But aside from that, Mega Man has been solid, except for the ones. Right. That were where they tried to go in 3D with Mega Man X, yeah, X7 and X8. And those, we'll talk about that. KJ and the Food Mega Man X didn't want those made, so I understand. Well, the X series was supposed to end at X5. That was supposed to be the end of it. But anyway, mm -hmm. be that as it may. So what I'm what I'm trying to say is KJ Inafune's pride and reputation has been on the products that he creates, right? So yeah, these delays are kind of bad PR for comps up right now, but this game is going to sell. Like the only people that aren't going to buy it are people with uninformed opinions and people who hate feminism for some reason are still hung up well, on a community manager that isn't uh, even there anymore. I, I, well, I mean, it is going to sell. It's going to sell to Mega Man fans who've been waiting you for Mega Man. You can't tell game. me that if this game has rave reviews and it looks amazing and you watch someone else play it on well, YouTube, you're not going to pick it up. Well, I mean, I, I may or may not pick it up, uh, but uh, you know, look, it's going to sell. It's I'm not going to say it's not going to sell. I will say that um, it's going to come out under a cloud of multiple delays and, you know, like, they better, like, here's the thing. Physically, this game is going to have to be flawless, but the problem is that there are no flawless games. Every game is going to have issues. Because of the negative pall that is around this game because of the delays and some of the shady stuff that, well, not shady, but uh, not quite like off-color things have been going on uh, w with uh, some of the projects over there at, at uh, Comcept. Uh, it, it like it's going, it's going, it's th that might hurt it a little bit. I don't really care because like I I'm not that I'm not invested in. I don't have a dog in the fight. I'm just saying what I see, um, just from an outsider looking in. Um, but I mean, look, listen, if you know, if people play it and buy it and enjoy it, God bless them. I'm not going to be like, oh, how dare you? Don't enjoy your game. Me personally, um, I mean, even though, I, like I said, when I heard that it was kickstarted and it went busted through all its things, I was happy as hell. I really just wish that um, I just wish that it that the negative things that have been happening, the delays, some of the shady stuff going on at Comcept just didn't go on because like. The game will probably be great, not perfect, but great. Um, graphic, I mean, graphically, depending on art style and stuff like that. But I mean, the game it's a it's a 2D platformer with uh, pseudo uh, 3D 2. models. 5. Yeah, 2.5. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's 
like graphically, this game isn't going to be like, oh my God, it's like uh, Avatar. <laughs> I mean, it's not going to be like that. And I'm okay because I don't want to play a movie. I want to play a game. So I'm okay with that. But the thing is, is like I said, is that, you know, even though I'm not a man on the inside, I just think that uh, Inafune, I mean, it, like, I don't think Inafune is, is a bad designer. I don't think that he has, I don't think he was purposely, I don't think he was trying to pull a Dennis Dyack taking funds deliberately to the sufferance of one game in order to, to, uh, to, to, to uh, fund another. But I do think just a few things aren't adding up. Two and two is not adding up to four. What do you mean? Well, okay. Um, okay, the, the multiple projects, things getting delayed. Um, it just, it, it just two and two is not equaling four. That's all I'm saying. I, I mean, are you, you're, you've stated several different topics there. So again, I'll ask, what do you mean by two and two not equaling four here? Do you mean in terms of you think that there's misappropriation of funds? Do you think well, that it, they, it? Do you still not understand why there is a delay for Mighty Number no. Nine? Is what? What can I do to help you see that this is warranted and it is for the better of the community? Well, I mean, I didn't say that. I didn't say. Look, I understand that. I, fr frankly speaking, I don't care why it was delayed. Like, it could be because um, they. It could be because, as they truly say, that well, uh, we need to get to get the net code correct. Okay, uh, fair enough. Um, it could be because um, there could be a major critical critical bugs that they have to work out of of the game. Like, like the I don't really. Line. I, look, listen, I don't know. I don't care. It, like, it, the reason that it's delayed is is uh, the, the mechanics of why it's delayed could, 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 could be less than me. Short of someone dying, then I could be like, okay, that, that's, that's t perfectly understandable. Um, in this case, I'm just, I'm just saying that uh, some, of the, some of the things that are being done aren't adding up in my opinion. For example, um, this game has been delayed multiple times, but concept takes on other projects. It's like, well, I need to take on as these projects should. as they should. Well, if they if they can if they can deliver, if never, they're a never. design studio, they don't develop the game directly. We have actually been over this already. Never, they can never take on. You brought up multiple projects several times, but you have failed to. I, I guess I didn't drive it home. The concept well, is a see. design studio. They um, have to have multiple projects in the fire. They are not responsible for this delay whatsoever. It is Integrates who's actually actively developing the game. They can have Red Ash. They can have Mighty Number no. Nine. They can have some jewel pig game for all I give a crap. You are driving home a point that is completely irrelevant, right? Okay, now. That, that's that's fair enough. Then if they are not in any way connected to these delays, then why is it that um, the first game that they were slated to the gaming project they were slated to collaborate with someone with uh, Ko King of the Pirates? was delayed three years. What do you mean? That that it was developed in-house by Concept? No, no, they were, uh, if I remember correctly, here, let me, let me I, uh, I can't really answer that question because I'm not informed about it enough to actually give you a response. I, I don't know. I mean, know. like, here's the thing, okay? Uh, we could say this is all on Concept. We could, maybe. It would be uh, incorrect, but sure. No, no. It was actually they were slated to be the sole developer of that game. It was it was gonna it was gonna be developed by oh, KJ Nafune and it Concept was, and published by Marvelous. That so was their first is, project though. This so, is a studio that is brand new, wet behind the ears. They've never really? done a project before. Really? I, I thought it was made up of a lot of uh, some of the team he he stole away from Capcom when he left. Uh, none of which were programmers, actually. All of them were designers. That's that's odd. That is that is very odd. That so is... what you're telling me is that you're trying to correlate, not causate, their very first project that they had never done anything prior to with, to well, one that I mean, they are you're seasoned. That they, you're saying that they can't. You're saying that as as designers, they can't 
they that because as, as designers they can't develop and their first project they just which i mean it wasn't just delayed it was delayed it was delayed it was uh it was delayed three years and then canceled due to uh changing market conditions i'm using sure. air quotes you can't see it but i'm using that's air fair that's fair that. um now i mean look i'm just saying you know, these people, ha I mean, a lot of these people were former uh, Capcom employees that worked with the man. Okay. You think they would know how to get a project out in time, but apparently. So, it doesn't take a computer science a scientist to see exactly what happened here is that they shot too high. It's it's a well, rookie yeah. mistake. Yeah, they had the funds and backing and, and wherewithal to cancel the project outright. But they just shot too high. That's all and, it is. And that's what I think they've done with uh, Mighty Number no. Nine. Now I know they aren't the ones creating it, but I think that I think they were a little over ambitious with some of their ideas. Maybe too many platforms. Maybe too many features. I don't know. Like, cause I'm I'm like I said, I'm, I don't have a man on the inside. I, you know, I don't have anyone with the. I don't have an advocate. I don't. You know, I I didn't talk to any of the the, the community managers. I'm not going to get into the whole SJW community manager thing. I'm not going to get into that because that's a whole nother bag of worms. But what I will say is that I feel that this game was, um, you know, the game probably will be great. It probably will, it will be like the best thing ever or, you know, that that's aside from the point. I think that some of the, you know, there's been some, some, some of these things that have been going on are just maybe not, not, uh, it hasn't been hasn't it hasn't like I said engendered me with the greatest form of confidence in, in in this in this company. All right, so let me let me ask you this then. Mm -hmm. uh, let me I'm gonna rattle off some games and you tell me if you think anything less of the studio because of that game. All right. Mm -hmm. Batman Arkham Knight. Don't answer that. Battlefield Hardline. The Never Order 1886. It. Um, that studio should stick to making Vita games. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Uh, it's okay. Tom Clancy's The Division. Eh, it's, uh, adequate. Dying Light. Uh, it's all right. Now, I'm not talking about the game. I'm talking about the studios behind them. What yeah, I just listed to you were all of the games that were in 2015 that were actually delayed. Now... Were people pissed and canceled pre-orders for Witcher 3 The Wild Hunt? Hell yeah, they were. They canceled a lot of them. But guess what? The Witcher 3 was game of the year last year. Yeah, but so that doesn't mean anything, does it? It does, actually. It means that the sales merited some sort of award. Well, and they won I mean, several I'm, awards for that game. I mean, I mean, let's keep it real. There are some games that have gotten game of the year that didn't deserve it. I mean, that doesn't matter. I mean, the, the game, of the year. game of the year, that game was so broken that they should have, they should have taken the people who, who named that game of the year, stuck them in an airlock and vented it. But I mean, that doesn't, <laughs> it's I game what, of the year. That I means guess what I'm trying to say is that no one is talking about how those games were delayed right now because those well, games are out. No one no. gives a shit that Witcher 3 was delayed. No one cares. The game sold well and it paid for its own development. No one also no. cares that Tom Clancy's The Division, which is being like, it's fucking, it's great. If you haven't played it, you like FPS is pretty cool. Uh, but I've, I've played no it. One, it's, uh, no one is sitting here saying CD Projekt Red and all the creators of it are just absolutely lame. And the game, I'm not even going to pick up the game because it was delayed. Like everyone I know that canceled their pre-orders because Witcher 3 Wild Hunt was delayed actually went back and picked it up. I so can't believe opinion, people pre-ordered that game. That's the thing. <laughs> I mean that. That is. You wait till it goes on sale, man. <laughs> Get that, that game at launch. <laughs> I mean, some people think that way. Some people are really it's excited a, for it. It's an that, open world point, RPG. It's those games. You need to wait about six months till they get the bugs out. <laughs> you buy those games. Right. So, but what my point is is that no matter what, no one gives a shit that The Witcher was delayed. It was irrelevant. What we're talking about right now is absolutely arbitrary. I the, understand the argument that you're making. Time. That you know, I, I never said that delay was. I never said that the delay was uh meant that the game was bad or anything the delay has nothing to do with the quality did you think unless anything less of the witcher duke 3 duke wild duke hunt forever. because it was delayed unless you're talking duke nukem forever the reason i said that delay was an issue is that it basically 
um, soils the reputation of Comcept and KG and Fune. All right, you, you must not have heard what I said. It doesn't matter about that right now. Right now, yeah, their, their reputation may be in the dust. When I said previously that most of KG and Fune's previous work, all the titles he worked on, Mega Man Legends, Battle Network, Zero, all the titles he's worked on have bolstered his reputation because those are killer games. They're really well designed and really good. So the fact that you're saying that his reputation is damaged, yeah, that might be fact now, but when this game gets released, it's not going to matter. It's well, going to sell well. The um, backers are going to get what they paid for, most importantly. I, They've I actually already gotten their uh, Kickstarter rewards because I, I I've got my sweet, sweet, mighty number nine shirt. <laughs> I, I disagree with that assertion. So, see, here's the thing: we don't we don't know what's going to happen in the future. Um, th this game, like I said, this game could come out and be friggin' awesome, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to, you know, that that it's going to uh, quote unquote revitalize his uh, reputation. I mean, I don't know. I really, I don't, I don't know if Mighty Number no. Nine is going to be awesome. It c it could be. A bag, a ba everything in a bag of chips. It could be garbage. I don't. No one knows because here's the thing: our everyone's tastes are subjective. Um, you know, like certain people, like like I had a friend. He got the division beta. I got the division beta. He enjoyed his division beta. I thought it was underwhelming, but um, Ubisoft very rarely makes a game that makes me go, "Wow, this blew my socks off." So. Um, Especially not during the seventh or eighth gen. So I mean, I'm not really, um, I, I'm not exactly. Uh, I wasn't exactly. You know, everyone's tastes are different. So, will this game do well? Uh, they well, I mean, it's a Kickstarter game, so it's not like they're going to be losing money themselves if it bombs spectacularly. Um, but, uh, I mean, as far as KG and Afune's reputation goes. Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, I have no, I have no idea. I, I don't know. Me personally, his reputation is mud. But I mean, if 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 concept, if concept and KG and Afune can maybe get, uh, maybe I don't know, maybe find a good partner that doesn't have the technical issues. Maybe I don't know, because I know that when they team up with other with with developers that uh, have uh, the whip cracked on them. Uh, they tend to get a game out in a decent amount of time with no or very few delays. But I don't know, man. I I don't know. It could be the game could come out. It could not be everything in a bag of chips, and their career and 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 his reputation stays in shambles. I don't know. You know, it could go either way. It could be his reputation is never going to go into shambles. Moderately well, <laughs> I mean, it, it isn't. He is always going to be remembered well. and memorized as. The proverbial technical father of Mega Man. That's his reputation. If, That's let, me put it this way. Let, let me put it this way. KG Inafune is um, like, I don't. KG Inafune is considered, like you like you just said, he's considered as the father of Mega Man, even though he wasn't the father of Mega Man. It was the, some other guy whose name escapes me right now. He designed him, but it, the other guy came up with the concept. Um, so I. I don't look. I don't know, man. I, I have no idea. Me personally, like I just don't. I don't see it happening. Um, I like a lot of KG and Fune's games, but like I think his reputation has been, like, if not, if not, I don't think it was irreparably damaged. But I think it's definitely been his his uh, his, uh, his 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 name. Uh, the 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 credit ascribed to his name has definitely been damaged a little bit with this. So, I mean, I don't know. I mean, can he bring it back? Maybe. Uh, Recore will have to be good. Um, and it may or may not be good because it's being done in concert with Armature. And Armature, not the best studio. Not the best mm, studio. Maybe not. But speaking of studios, it's worth noting that Inti Creates also has not made a multiplayer game before. Much less one. Oh, speaking of netcode. So not only do they have to fix the netcode, I, I meant to state that it, it is the netcode. Uh, I'll get into that a bit more. Um, I meant to say this before, but it's really my fault for letting it slip. Um, mm -hmm. The netcode has to traverse PlayStation Network, Xbox Live, and the Nintendo Network, which we all know is garbage. So 
not only is who oh, you say PSN? Yeah, yeah. PSN well, oh no, N- Nintendo Network, but I mean PSN is pretty garbage too. But be, be that as it way it may, so not only do they have to fix the netcode issues that are plaguing the game client, but they also have to adhere to every single platform's requirements for networking, which is pretty much the equivalent. Since you seem to like, you seem to be a guy that likes some analogies. Let me spin one up for you. Um, it's pretty much like having different size wheels for your car, right? The issue at first, like, the first delay was actually a game-breaking bug. It had nothing to do with the net code. The other two delays, because it was actually only delayed three times, were because of the net code. Um, so, I don't think tires are a good analogy. There's a lot that goes into it that I think you're missing, and the fact that you're so easily brushing off and dismissing the net code as being the issue for the delay is a little bit concerning. Well, um, no, I, I just said I said that's what they said. I, see, here's the thing: I don't like I don't have the technical background to be able to say, you know, show me send 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 a, send a, send your demo over and let me take a look at it and say, yeah, that's definitely the net code. Um, you my, could, my, you my, could have fooled me based off of your opinions on your previous video. The only um, the <laughs> only coding. Well, no, I couldn't have fooled you because I never said I was a developer. I said the only coding that I know is a little bit of C plus plus and Q basic from well, Pac. In high school, opinion, but, which yeah. you know, like I said, not a lot, not a lot. You know, you want me to, you want me to, to do, to do a little programming from, uh, from, from the <laughs> DOS prompt. I'm your man, but anything beyond that, you're SOL. So, I mean, look, listen, uh, it's not exactly engendering me uh, faith in what they're saying. Um, I think that, I mean, look, it could be the net code. I, I, that's what they say. I. It could be, could not be. I, I have, I have no way of I, like because of um, because of, uh, in my opinion, the credibility of Cajun and Fune and Concept. I, I can't really trust anything they say anyway. So, like, I, hell, they could tell me Raptors busted into the office and ate some people. I'd be like, oh, okay, yeah, whatever. It's been delayed again. Okay. Okay. Uh, I guess at the end of the day, to in, in conclusion, really, um, at the end of the day, I think that your opinion on Keiji Inafune as a whole is a bit unfounded. I think that, yeah, his reputation is damaged, but I would hardly go out on a limb and say that I someone is going to just not buy anything made by Keiji Inafune because of something is is very little and insignificant as a delay really in the grand scheme of things this delay is pretty insignificant um they didn't have to communicate with us anything about this they could have just said no. they deal with it they, they don't owe us this game no they don't we are no. privileged to actually have the opportunity to get this game kickstarter backers are obligated to read the risks and challenges of every kickstarter project they back and if they blindly back a project without knowing what they're getting into that's on them. Tough Turpletons. You want to know something funny <clears throat> about Kickstarter? Every Kickstarter I've backed has been successful, and I got the product that I wanted. And occasionally they, they've been delayed, but th- they got there. And I didn't get mad about the delays with those projects because I had faith in the people who were running the Kickstarter. So what's different um, now? It was, uh, well, I'm going to tell you the projects, and then you'll, you'll understand why. Shadowrun Returns. Okay. And Shadowrun Hong Kong, and uh, those were two projects I kick I kick started, and yep. two, and a project by a friend of mine who runs a charity who was trying to get backpacks for the kids, like th- like three hundred kids, uh, and he needed like a certain amount of funds, and that was that was relatively easy to, to get. So basically, you know, <clears throat> those were those were. Uh, those are projects, but I knew that like hair, uh, uh, the studio that uh, did Shadow and Returns, like these people had had a pedigree and they had done some stuff. It had people that I was like, okay, these people know what they're doing. I don't feel like I'm just giving money to, 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 to someone who's trying to scam me. So, um, like I just, I, I just don't, I don't have that level of, uh, <clears throat> How should I put this? I don't have that level of trust in uh, 
in uh, KG and Afune at this point. So what's changed between that project and this one? Knowing, stating previously that there was there were delays for the previous one, what's oh, yeah. different here? Oh, it was delayed. It was supposed to come out in like, uh, like it was delayed, and I was like, man, you know what? But you, but wait a second. Sure, sure, but but what it what is different here? Well, I guess because I didn't feel like. Um, I didn't feel like I didn't feel like the delay. I didn't feel like the money was being put in odd, like odd places. I didn't feel like the money was embezzled or shady things were being done with the money. That like they asked too much. Like it was very clear okay. cut. They told everyone. They broke down. And I guess is. I mean, this is. I mean, you know. I, so the, what's different about this? What's nine, shady about started, concept? Well, uh, Comstock didn't do that so much with Mighty Number no. Nine. What do you mean? How? Well, I mean, with Shadowrun Returns, they told you where the money was going, almost down to the decimal point. Um, okay. In Mighty Number no. Nine, they gave you a lot of Kickstarters, and then after the fact, they're like, "Well, we're going to do this with this. We're going to do this with that." And it was, it wasn't nearly as uh, cut and dry to me. Okay. So that still doesn't answer my question. What what's the is is the only difference, the only reason that you don't like KG and Afuna, you don't respect him is because they didn't put a bar graph with where the money went. Mm -hmm. That is the only reason. Out of all the reasons you could pick bar none, that's the one. Yep. When they know they have told you where where this is going, like <laughs> I just find that really silly for a business owner. Like that's really... I'm sorry. <laughs> let me let me compose myself. So, uh, let me spin it this way. They did state at one point. Let me see if I can try to find it real quick. I really should have. Uh, uh, I should get my research up. But they did state where their money was going at one point or another. Let's see. I'm actually not going to take up uh, the time researching it there. Um, well, but if you don't understand, if the you, other so, Kickstarters they did me, where they were like, oh, whoa, we need whoa, to whoa, add. Whoa. Time out. I'm not going to sit here and speculate with you on any any other Kickstarters. My topic is Mighty Number no. 9 specifically. What, we haven't, we, we can't bring up the Kickstarters to add voice acting? <laughs> You just all right. What this boils down to is, if the only reason that you think Keiji Unifune's uh, reputation is damaged is because you didn't have a pie chart stating what the money was going towards, that's really an ignorant reason. And I'm going to tell you why. Because you don't know exactly what goes into this. They have to cycle out Unreal Engine Four, which mm -hmm. is an engine that they have to they have to obtain voice studio time for voice acting. I mean, I could sit here and ramble off of everything and try to justify the cost. Uh, I don't know. You tell me. Would you play a game with no voice acting? I've played many that didn't have voice acting. Okay. And would you play, I mean, any other question I can ask you about this to try to get you to justify that outlandish opinion is really irrelevant and it's just going to drab on. Going forward, I can sit here and list to you every single point of where this funding goes and it'll be 100% on the money accurate. I don't know if that'll change your opinion is on it? this. But it, uh, is it? Accurate. Uh, what goes into making a game? There's publishing. There's certification time. There's programming costs that have to go to your developer. There's studio time to keep your lights on. There's payroll that you have to meet. Taxes. There's also things like uh, the licenses for the business software. All the PCs that you have to purchase in order to get this game. Equipment that needs to be done. Sound design and studio time. Voice acting for not only Japanese but also English. Translator time. There's tons of things that goes into the development of this game that we know about because Comcept has told us if you, well, you're not a backer, so you don't, you haven't seen the forums, but all of these are things that go into this and they aren't cheap. Like they're doing it in two different regions where the costs are night and day. So if you don't, mm. if you think that making a game on, hang on, let me get my, my drawing up here. Uh, I cleared it out. Damn it. If you don't think a plat a game being made on more than five platforms is justifying a four million plus dollar price tag it's an uninformed opinion and i i can sit here until i'm blue in the face and i'm not going to change your mind because it's really just an uninformed opinion well 
the, the, the fact that you, the fact there's, that you were no, originally latching on to KG Infuse's reputation, no, and now the, you're shifting no, to there's only. No, there's no proof that that money that they said went to X, Y, or Z went to X, Y, and Z. Is there any proof of any other business doing that? I don't think so. Like, if you think a pie, if you trust a pie chart made on a Kickstarter, there's a bigger problem. Well, I mean, like I said, there's no proof that even if they say we spent this much money getting new computers, we spent this much money doing this, is there proof that they actually did that? They could just say that. Exactly. So that's why I think it's really, really so dumb that that's the reason you think reputation is damaged. It's trustworthy. You don't know that. I mean, it's, how can we trust it? There's how can no, we trust any Kickstarter no, developer? Do you think all of those ant simulator backers are going to really care about the fact that two thirds of their budget was for pizza? No, it doesn't matter because all their money was actually used for hookers and blackjack. Allegedly, for, I don't. We I don't know. we know for a fact that this game is getting made. Period. The amount well, of money is relevant. The reputation, like I tell you what, I tell you what, I'll make a bet with you. How much you want to bet it's gonna get delayed again? I don't bet unless I know I'm going to win, so I'm not <laughs> going to take that bet. How we about we bet a game? I got some, I got some humble bundles from Steam, and I got, I got Cities, Cities yeah, that's, XL. That's kind of that's kind of cute, but it's I really don't care. I'm not betting you. Cities XL. We'll we'll bet we'll bet. I'll bet you that this game's gonna get delayed again. Due to net coding or whatever so bullshit in, reason, in come conclusion, up with that. games TLDR games get delayed, and the only reason that you don't think KJ Inafune is a reputable developer still is because you don't know where the money went. That's really all this is. Um, and the fact that you're lambasting a game based off of such a small, insignificant fact is really well, unfortunate and pretty. I wasn't bad. lambasting the game; I was lambasting the people making the game. And go back the face, and go the back and rewatch the, the face of it being made. I wasn't lambasting the game itself. Like I said, the game could be awesome, but, you know. I mean, I, at this point, there's really nothing more that we can discuss. Yeah. I've said my piece. You said yours. So thanks for your time. Yes, it was a joy. Indeed. Likewise. Take care. Mm-hmm. Okay, gentlemen, that was the end of our debate, uh, if you can call it that. So, peace.